<clears throat> okay, um, here's a video of 11 death whistles, which are a batch um, in which I was working on for an interna international order. Um, and there's uh, 11 of these are intended for that person, and then whatever uh, he doesn't pick um, are for two other people who um, are next in line. So one other person has already paid me, so they'll be picking next and then the third person. So we'll see um, how these turn out. So I'm going to go through these pretty quickly since I have under 10 minutes. Here's the first one. I kind of go in order of which ones I really like. First with the skulls. The ones in the back are a little bit of a different type of sound. Um, those are in intended to get somewhat of a more of a bestial moan type sound. Um, so here's um, this one's more human like and I like the way this first one sounds. Here we go. So there's that one, very beautiful. I like the way the glaze came out. Here's the second one. Um, some of the people who, uh, the second and third people, are asking me for more, somewhat of a shriek cry. So this one is real. I like the way it came out as far as like a shriek, uh, more of a higher pitch. So there's that one. Pretty interesting sound there. There we go. There's also somewhat of a a shriek. That one seems to sound kind of more like wind. And here's the fourth one. So that one also is more of a shriek, and I put it on the end because it's more like a human sounding too, in my opinion. But there was a little bit of a mishap. I don't know if you can tell there. Um, so that one's a little bit um, kind of looks like you got hit in the head or something in battle. So they, there's a hole there so you can tie a cord for necklace if you'd like. So 
those are those are very nice as far as like a shriek sound too. There's the first black one. I really like the way the glaze came out on these. Similar sound there. Here's the third one. Very nice the way the glaze came out. That sound, that kind of howling sound, um, these are very nice because you can cup them and your hands can serve more of a ch as a chamber to manipulate the sound and they're pretty powerful. You can hear those at very long distances. Now these next ones are w in a form of what um, is called a gamitadera in Spanish, um, but um, there were some old ones found like this in this shape, in this form, so um, it's been a long time since I made them like that, um, but um, this international order um, was requesting one that so had a bestial s type sound, so here's my attempt. These first two are fired and the last one is waiting to be fired, and the last skull is also waiting to be fired, so here we go with these. So I'm using different air pressure and I'm also covering that chamber and the shape is very very important I think in this design as you can tell it has two humps um, there and there um, actually three and somehow the air kind of collides and you get that different sound so these I put a couple skull shapes painted all black here we go with the next one I can probably paint this all black because the glaze came, I mean the, I wanted to keep this one natural but it's like it was a little off color but I could leave it like that too. This is the really classic shape right here. Those three little notches there, so here we go. So that one before firing I thought was going to come out the best, but uh, it didn't. Um, 